Hey guys, Kim and Annabelle here. And we decided that we are going to do another day in the life today. And please excuse my hair, but this is what happens when I don't feel like spending 45 minutes to dry it. I just throw some gel in it and it gets crinkly and crunchy and it's just easier to deal with sometimes. So that is what we are working with right now. I went for my swim. This little thing decided she did not want to take her morning nap. So it is nice and early and we are wide awake. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, we're working on waving. But I am going to make something to eat. I'm going to make a waffle. And it is super cold out today. It was like 60 degrees the other day and now it's freezing and snowing. So I got thinking of hot chocolate. And rather than just drinking hot chocolate, I'm going to make a hot chocolate waffle. So I'm going to use this flapjacked buttermilk mix. You could use any protein pancake mix or you could even probably just use like was it bisquick or whatever like normal pancake mix and then I'm going to add one packet of this diet Swiss Miss hot chocolate which I really enjoy I think it tastes very good even though it's diet it's only 25 calories for a cup but I'm just going to add the powder to this and then add the what is it half cup water Maybe a little bit more since I'm adding extra powder. And here's what the batter looks like. I can show you without spilling it. Nice and chocolatey. And then we just pour it in the waffle maker. I've also made this as muffins and pancakes. Sometimes I add little marshmallows or chocolate chips, but I'm just gonna keep this nice and simple. Remember that time I said I was gonna keep it nice and simple? Well then I decided I wanted to take a picture to put on Instagram, so I had to make it look a little bit more fun. So I just added some teeny tiny marshmallows and some chocolate chips, got a few super fun pictures. This is what it looks like behind the scenes of all of my Instagram photos. But I'm going to add some sugar-free syrup to this, eat this, and then Annabelle and I have to go to the grocery store and we're gonna go check my P.O. box. All right, so me and Annabelle just got back from the grocery store. And yes, she is still in her jammies. We went out in public in jammies because when you're eight months old, you can do that. And who wouldn't wanna wear fleece jammies all day? They're just adorable, right? Yeah, so I always say until she like spits up on her <laughs> pajamas, or we have to go somewhere like really important, jammies all day. So we went to the grocery store and I just realized I left the groceries in the car, but honestly nothing exciting at all. I got five things of rice cakes, baby food, Motrin, and some sugar-free pudding. And I was looking for a zero bar. I think it was Liz who suggested that I try it and they didn't have any. So I was kind of bummed about that, but I might have to try maybe like a gas station or something. But then I checked my P.O. box, which is listed down below, by the way. And I got a package and it's super, super exciting. And I am going to show you what is inside. So this is from Aria. I will link her YouTube channel down below. She is such, such a sweetheart. And I just, I love her videos. She's very motivational. She talks a lot about her struggles and her past and I just love her. So check her out. But she is from Cyprus, I guess. And I don't know, I'm not very good with geography. I don't exactly know where that is, but I see her videos and it's like gorgeous wherever she lives. She always shows the ocean and it's just beautiful. Anywho, she sent me some foods from Cyprus and I have like never seen some of these um, and I'm really, really excited. So I did already kind of sneak through. But first of all, she sent me some coffee and of course I can't read like any of this, but it's tradi traditional Cyprus coffee and you have to use, Sadie, get out of here. You have to use like this special little cup to make it. So she also like wrote out instructions of how to do everything, which is super cool. But I am going to go read the instructions and figure out how to do it and make myself some of this coffee. I guess it's kind of like instant coffee. I think you just add water and cook it in here. I don't know, but I'm really, really excited to try it. 
So I'm gonna do that in a little bit. Annabelle, you want the card? She also wrote me a super sweet card. Here, you can play with that. Okay, so that's thing number one. <clears throat> thing number two, she sent some olives. And I'm not gonna lie, Aria, I love you, but I don't love olives. But Jim does. Jim loves olives. And I am gonna still try them because, I mean, I have to. They're olives from Cyprus, and that's just fun. So I am gonna try one. I'm gonna wait until Jim gets home to try some of these things, but they will not go to waste. There's also some, I guess she referred to it as like a pudding. It's like cream, caramel. I don't know. You have to make it. Hopefully I can do that without messing it up. I don't think I'm going to do this today because I do have to work later and I might not have time. Um, but I will definitely make this and try it in a video soon. She also sent some chocolate, which I'm also going to control myself and wait until Jim gets home to try these with me. They look super pretty. It is milk chocolate with almonds. So that is going to be fun. And then there is this, and I forget what this, which one this one is. It's like sweet pita. I think this is a sweet pita bread. Yeah, and it smells really good. It smells like cinnamon. So I'm gonna wait again until Jim gets home and we'll try that. So when Jim gets home, we're gonna try the bread, the chocolate, and the olives. Last but not least, there is a protein bar and I'm going to try this right now. And what did she write about it? Pro Muscle Coconut Protein Bar. One of my favorites that I wanted you to try. So, I love, love, love trying protein bars. I can read here that it's high protein and gluten free. The rest of it I can't really read. So we're not gonna really bother with that. But, let's see if I can open it. It's very pretty. Oh, it smells really coconutty as soon as I opened it covered in chocolate. I love protein bars like from other places that we can't get around here. Like I've never ever seen this, obviously. Mm, it smells good. The coconut flavor isn't real overwhelming, which I like because I don't love, love, love coconut. But it's really good. I like like the soft chewy nougat and it's covered in chocolate. Very good. So I'm going to eat the rest of this, but I'm gonna go make some of that coffee. Maybe I'll kind of show you how I'm doing it, and then I'm gonna taste that because I have not had my morning coffee yet. So this is probably not the best angle, but I didn't wanna get out the tripod, and this is just gonna to have to do. So I was reading the instructions, and it says we add one cup of water to this adorable little pitcher, and then one spoon of coffee, which smells very different. Definitely has a coffee scent, but it also like smells different. I'm very intrigued. So I don't know, is that how much you use, Aria? I'm probably doing this wrong. And then it says sugar as preferred. So you guys know me, I'm gonna use my Splenda. I hope that's not going to like ruin the authenticity of it. And then it says, Stir slightly as it heats and pull away from fire at the precise moment of boiling. So I do not have a fire. I'm assuming you can put this on the stove top. I don't know, Aria, once again, if I'm doing this wrong, let me know. But it's like a stainless steel thing, so I feel like it should be able to be on the stove top. And I guess we're just gonna wait and see if it boils. I'm very excited for this. So the coffee is ready. I even put it in a fancy little mug, which just seemed appropriate. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. It smells different, is all I'm gonna say. But I'm also very excited because I love trying new things. Yeah, it does not smell like your typical cup of coffee. There's nothing. Oh. Not what I was expecting at all. Taste it again. I don't even know how to describe it. It does 
have a coffee taste, but there's something else in there too. I don't know how to explain it. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of milk to it. I don't know if that's like, I feel like I'm not gonna be like ruining how you're supposed to drink it. They're like, oh my God, she added splendid milk to the coffee. She ruined it. Um, but that's just how I like to drink my coffee. But I like it. It does say that it's like an acquired taste. So maybe something I'll get more used to, but I'm going to enjoy this. So I'm gonna drink this and eat the rest of that protein bar. So getting ready to go to work, hence the lovely hair up in a bun and all black attire. <laughs> Gotta love Starbucks uniform. But I wanted to show you what I'm taking with me. I will be home, I'm gonna work till five, so I'll be home around 5.30. And then Jim and I are gonna try some more food, just kind of hang out and probably not be too exciting of an evening. But I am taking, first of all, an apple to eat on my break. Very exciting. Also, some crunchy world peas snacks. I love, love, love these. They're just like crunchy little peas and they taste like ranch dressing. I also really like the barbecue ones, but ranch are my favorite. And I am taking a detour bar. I am obsessed with these lately. I really like to cut them up in little pieces and freeze them, but I'm just gonna take the big bar like this sneak it in my apron like always and just kind of snack on it throughout the day. But this is the peanut butter cream and these taste like a peanut butter cream egg that you get at Easter time and I love them. So I will put their website down below and I have a discount code if you want to try any of their bars. I really like them, especially this one and the salted caramel cookie dough is really, really good. So check that out. Um, I will also, at work, probably end up getting like a bagel with cream cheese because I get one food item. And I just want to remind everyone that these are not full day of eating videos. So I am not showing you every single thing I eat, just some of the fun stuff. And yeah, that is all I'm going to say about that. So disclaimer, I am eating other food other than what I show you. I just got home from work and Annabelle is being a little fuss butt. Not too bad. Yeah, did she eat good? She did eat good. She ate good. All right, so that's good. So work kind of sucked because the district manager was there. So we had to like follow all the rules and like couldn't make our own drinks and blah, blah, blah. But I do have to say hi to Nicole. Hi, hi Nicole. Nicole. She does hi, Nicole. YouTube videos too. She works with me. Oh. She does like makeup tutorials and stuff. And she said she was going to go watch my videos. So hi, Nicole. Um, but the good thing about work was... Starbucks got sent expired sugar-free vanilla and they were just gonna throw it all away and I was like no do not throw that away so I got to take a bunch of them home and now I have sugar-free vanilla syrup for my coffee for like life so that was super exciting because that stuff is expensive and now we're going to try three things I already showed them the stuff earlier okay I think we should do the olives last first I don't care let's do the olives first I already told the people how I don't like olives so I'm a little bit scared yeah. you love olives though love olives. so tell Aria thank you thank you Aria I'm scared I'm gonna take a teeny tiny bite mm -hmm. all of you people that don't like me taking teeny tiny bites is there pits mm -hmm. ah! <coughs> oh. Oh. Ah! I don't like olives it's a good olive it's like a real olive. That's, I don't not, like that's not like a can. <laughs> I don't like olives. I'm sorry, Aria. I love them, Aria. Thank you. The coffee was really good this morning, and so was the protein bar. Jim will eat them. All right. Yes, he will. Let's move on to this bread because I'm excited for this. It's like a sweet. I think it's like cinnamony. I can't read any of anything. Obviously. This might be a stupid question. What language do they speak in Cyprus? Don't know. I'm thinking this might be good warmed up, but we're just gonna try some of it, like. Just like this for now. I'm sorry, Annabelle, you can't have any. Mmm. That's really good. That's delicious. It's almost like apple-y. It is like, it's almost like a apple pie crust, like the crust of an apple pie with the kind of under- <laughs> Sadie's It's like kind of <laughs> underbaked a little bit. That's really, really good. Yeah, it's like apple pie crust, that's, yeah. It's really good. That is delicious. So you can send a whole lot right, more right. of that. What would you do with it though? Um, I think you could warm it up and put like 
peanut butter or cream cheese or I don't know. Ari, what do you do with it? Or just eat it? It's really good. I love how you talk to Aria like she's like, she's right watching. Here. She's watching. So that, that's delicious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is a chocolate bar. It is milk chocolate with almonds. And people always say that us, and by us, I mean Americans in the United States, <laughs> have really bad chocolate. Like that our chocolate's bad. Oh, I've heard that. That it's like waxy. I like our chocolate, Hershey's chocolate. I think it's good, but apparently we don't know chocolate. Whole big thing. Oh, there's nuts in it. It's yeah, with almonds. That's delicious. It is better than our chocolate. It's way better than our chocolate. <laughs> it's much better than our chocolate. And she sent two of these, so I will actually share some of that with you. So cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was very, very fun. I'm going to eat some of this tonight. I think. Yeah, that's, that's, good. that's really good. I'm gonna eat the um, olives. Don't worry. And that's gonna be it, right? We got more ER to watch today. Another Netflix <laughs> tonight, and we're just gonna hang out with baby and eat some snacks like we always do. And Sadie, I'm sorry. Sadie is really mad. Come here. Now she's running no, away from me because I was yelling at her matter. because she kept being annoying with food. Sadie, come here. here. Sadie, bang. <laughs> good job. So that's gonna be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. She's looking for more food now. Give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Say bye Annabelle. Bye Annabelle.